X-Men Season 1, Episode 8, the animated series from 1992. This episode is called The Unstoppable Juggernaut. And, yeah, uh, thoughts. Spoilers for these first eight episodes and another episode that I absolutely loved. And, yeah, so, real quick, please support sag Aftra Strike. There will be some links, including one to donate, in the description box about that now. So yeah, um, Wolverine asks Cyclops if he can land by himself, which, yeah, I mean, he can in the movies. Is that where, is this where that came from? Like, is this what inspired that running gag that he just, anyway, um, let's see. And yeah, you know, they find the destroyed mansion and try to find out what's going on. We're on our way to the war room. They definitely can't fight in there. Let's see, and yeah, Xavier left on a journey that may change our lives forever. Yeah, that's nice and vague. Uh, I guess we'll find out what, is it maybe next episode? It's it's coming up, at least, what exactly happened there. And yeah, we meet Colossus. Uh, you know, I, I like that at first it's like, oh, you know, maybe this is the guy at the, what's it called? The, um construction site where they're destroying this building but you know he's being a scab so the the hard hats of course not a fan and yeah the car crushes up against colossus and he didn't even flinch it's, yeah very very cool what is with these americans yeah t t dude how long you got and the let's see. Yeah, Wolverine is certain that Colossus was not the one who destroyed the mansion because he doesn't smell the, the his his smell his scent was not on the mansion, and let's see the other thing was right he could have killed us he didn't and okay. I quite appreciate that Colossus' steel form can get very big you know like. You know, in the live-action movies so far, they they almost get it. Like, in the Deadpool movies, he's as big as he can get in the comics. But in the other movies, you know, but then he never changes back to human form, which is probably to save money. I guess we'll see how the MCU handles it with Deadpool 3, because the character's slated to return. But yeah, in the Fox X-Men movie, uh, right, in the non-Deadpool movies live-action movies, he doesn't really get bigger, it's just that his skin, you know, becomes like steel, which is, you know, that is part of his power, but he's, he often gets bigger, but that was, you know, for a while they were very embarrassed to go deep with the mutant powers. And... <clears throat> I like Rogue knocking out the guard, you know, she doesn't, like, she could just punch him if she wanted to, but, you know, no, she, she like, flirts with him and, you know, implies he should touch her hand and, you know, cold hand, you know, and, you know, the, the saying is cold hand, warm heart, but cold hand, knocked out cold, so, yeah, and, wait, would a Russian really not know what a union is? I feel like that's kind of the whole thing. <laughs> I feel like a slightly weird part of... Although I guess he's like... He expects everyone to be in a union, so it's not a problem, I guess? I don't know. Let's see, and... Let's see, the... Yeah, and, you know, the the episode is actually almost over before they even meet Juggernaut. Like, I appreciate the build-up. Like, for a while, and it is also, like, once they meet Juggernaut, you know, there's only so much, like, what, is the episode just going to be him, you know, easily shaking off their attacks? Like, that's not that interesting to see. You know, it's, we're, like, 12 minutes into the episode, and I think it's, like, 19 minutes total, so that's two-thirds. Anyway, and yeah, sticks and stones may break my bones, but tanks can never hurt me. And yeah, the you know Jubilee, you know Wolverine cuts open the the bags. You know it's easy to separate a fool from his money. 
and the um, Jubilee runs back in with the money. And I appreciate that we see like Juggernaut's rage is very very intense, and yeah, you know he like he didn't find Xavier at the mansion, so he robbed a bank to get Xavier's attention. That's logical. Let's see, and you know he points out something that I don't think either movie version, uh, neither of the live action movie versions are magical, which it's like, you know, it's not a big deal, but that is what it is in the comic. It's it's magic. It's not a mutation. Let's see. And thank you. Wow. And the, yeah, you know, despite Wolverine's hatred of teamwork, that is what wins the day, which is, you know, great message for the kids. And I appreciate, like, the, you know, straight up, one-on-one, one on one, they have no chance. Like, they cannot, like, they can't, he's, like, we're talking, like, they're, they're like, bugs that he just has to, you know, wave off. Like, it's nothing. And, you know, the, the first seven episodes, they're, like, you know, extremely powerful, so it really shows how powerful he is. Let's see, and Rogue manages to absorb... You know, but he, but it does knock him out, and you know we hear like his his rage. You know, they all love Charles, they all hate you. Must destroy. You know, so it's again this thing of it didn't come out of nowhere. He wasn't born evil. It's it's a personal slight that he's getting revenge for, or, or yeah, making him angry, and that's what he's. Let's see, and, and you know, Jean manages to knock out Juggernaut, but also herself, and leaves him with a hypnotic suggestion, unsure how long it's going to last. And Colossus is welcome to join the X-Men, but he has to go see his sister and maybe see more of America, which is a, a good, I, I appreciate, because it's like, you know, a lot of the kids were probably like, oh, who's, who's his sister, you know, and this, I guess this was for Wikipedia, so there's probably, I think right after this episode aired, there were a lot of annoyed older brothers, you know, divulging everything, or as much as they felt, you know, might have been too annoyed to, to get much into, let's see, her name, Ili, uh, I want to say Iliana? Yeah, Ileana Rasputina. You know, so, yeah. I forget if she... Does she show up later? Um, certainly would be would be cool. You know, I just hope that she's very differently characterized than in The New Mutants. And I really hate saying that about an Anya Taylor-Joy performance. But yeah, uh, I think that's everything that I had for... For this one, yeah, they did a really great job writing how the different powers, you know, the, the, yeah, and, and this thing of, you know, they realized we got to get the helmet off his head, and that is accurate to the comics, it's the, that's what blocks out the, the, um, psychic attacks, you know, and he's, if I, if I remember, but it's been a while, he did specifically get it, because he knew that he was going, you know, Xavier was going to be one of his enemies, so, yeah. I think that might be everything. Yeah, like, some, some good misdirects. Like, it really did seem like he was going to... Like, you know, obviously, if you know the episode title, you know that it's going to turn out to be Juggernaut. But... You know, you didn't necessarily guess that that was Colossus at the construction site before we get a good look at him. And, you know, that's a nice way to get... I mean, nobody forced her to run up to a building that's being demolished, you know. But yeah, so, you know, Wolverine has to jump in and get her out of there. You know, that might have... Maybe Wolverine should have been the person to, you know... Xavier's School of Endangering Children... But, uh, yeah, the, the, I 
think that is absolutely everything that I had to say. I kind of like that, like, when they were just driving through the, the city looking for Juggernaut, like, Storm changes into, like, actual casual wear. Rogue just throws the jacket over her X-Men uniform. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe they didn't want to... Maybe they didn't have time to design, like, a more casual look for, for Rogue, but it just kind of made me chuckle. I think that might... Let's see... Yeah, I appreciate Wolverine begrudgingly admitting that, uh, you know, teamwork does, you know, can be useful sometimes. And... Yeah, that, that is everything. So, yeah. Support the strike, don't scab, make my marble.